Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the finals of this year's Carnegie Mellon University Three Minute Thesis Competition. My name is Keith Webster. I'm Dean of Libraries and your host this afternoon. This is the fourth year in which we've hosted this event, and we continue to attract an impressive array of doctoral students willing to share their research in an informative and, we hope, entertaining manner. It's wonderful to see an audience here in the Cohen University Centre. In addition, we are, for the first time, live streaming the competition thanks to the CMU Alumni Association. That's available on Facebook. Wherever you are in the world, welcome to today's event. The three-minute thesis competition was developed by my former university, the University of Queensland in Australia. In 2008, we set this up as what we thought would be a one-off chance for our students to learn a little bit more about each other, practice their communication skills. But it has now grown into an international event run in dozens, probably by now hundreds, of universities around the world. The premise of the three-minute thesis is simple. Students have a maximum of three minutes to present a compelling oration on their thesis and its significance. It's not an exercise in trivialising or dumbing down research, but challenges students to consolidate their ideas and research discoveries so that they can be presented concisely to a non-specialist audience. In bringing the challenge to Carnegie Mellon, I had no idea of the likely response, but over four years we've had almost 400 participants from every college in the university, and the winner each year has come from a different college. We are supported each year by judges representing faculty from colleges, schools, the libraries, university leaders, alumni, and representatives of the research student body. And I acknowledge with gratitude their contribution to the three-minute thesis competition. This year's judges are sitting anxiously in the front row. Uh, they are Ramaya Krishnan, Dean of the Heinz College, Nancy Merritt, Assistant Vice President for Alumni Relations, Anne Malloy, one of our trustees and director of the Posner Fine Arts Foundation, Susie Lorich McIntyre, Assistant VP for Graduate Education, and Julianne Reinecke, PhD student, one of last year's winners, and soon to be a Posner intern whose exhibition will be available for you to view in the Posner Centre. The rules are straightforward. Speakers, as I've said already, have a maximum of three minutes, and the competition rules require the disqualification of anyone who continues beyond that time. Speakers will be able to view a countdown timer during their presentation, and a bell will ring at the end. If they're still talking beyond the bell, it's the end of their participation, so be warned. Uh, speakers are permitted to display a single static PowerPoint slide, but may not use any other media or props, you know, fancy dress, singing, dancing, or anything of that sort. Our judges will consider three broad criteria in arriving at their decision. These are comprehension, engagement, and communication. Once I finish my three-minute thesis, I will introduce each speaker in turn and invite them to deliver their presentation. We will allow a few seconds between each speaker to allow the judges and you to make any notes on the preceding presentation. After each speaker has concluded their presentation, the judges will retire and, after a short break, return to announce the winners of these prizes. In addition, you, the audience, have a vote. I hope you each have a ballot paper, but if not, we'll make sure you get one, and only one. Um, and we invite you to cast your vote for the winner of your choice, and at the end of the afternoon, we will count up the votes and identify the winner of the People's Choice Award. To make the Facebook streaming even more entertaining, the Alumni Association have generously sponsored an award to be determined by our alumni. They will be voting online. We hope the technology is with us. And again, at the end of the afternoon, we will announce the winner of the Alumni Choice Award.